welcome to PilatesBridge.com in another episode of Bikini Body Rescue. Today we are working with our arms, shoulders and back muscles. And of course we'll still be targeting our core, what kind of Pilates workout is without core activation, right? So let's get started. One thing, um, if you have any wrist issues, because we'll be doing a lot of front supports or planks and we'll be using our wrists a lot. If you have any wrist issues, please grab a couple of uh, little hand towels or washcloths, we'll be using them under our wrists. And uh, I'll also be walk walking you through several modifications if you have any um, wrist problems. So just listen and enjoy. We're going to get started on our stomachs. So go all the way down. Arms are by your sides. Legs are long. Your hip bones are gently pressing into the floor. You're feeling equal weight on both sides of your pelvis. So rock your hips a little bit to even yourself out. Good. You're feeling your lower ribs touching the floor. Good. Arms are by your sides. You're reaching through your fingertips back, letting your shoulder blades slide down your back. Take a nice big inhale. As you exhale, imagine that you need to slide a very thin sheet of paper under your stomach. So really pull it in. Good. And you can also use a visual of a really tight corset around your waist. So think like somebody is tying or zipping up that corset right over there in the back. So you really want to pull your tummy in and hold it there. Let's take one more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Find your corset. Zip it up in the back. Good. Now, on the next one, I want you to lift your arms. Big inhale. Exhale, bring your arms up and down. The very simple. And lift and down. You can turn your head down, maybe put a little towel under your forehead to create a comfortable position here. Arms up and down. Reach through your fingertips. Let's add a nice back extension. Inhale, reach, come down. Inhale, lift, reach through the crown of your head like somebody's trying to pull your head out and away from you. The entire spine is lengthening and down. Lift, and down. I'm gonna stay up on the next one. Lift, start pulsing your arms towards the ceiling. It's just like the hundred that we usually do face up, but this time we are pulsing in the opposite direction. So we're pulsing towards the ceiling. Breath is the same. Nice big inhale, about five counts. And exhale, five counts. Good. Keep your arms strong. Feel your muscles wrapping around your bones. You're reaching away with your fingertips. Shoulders are sliding down away from your ears. Keep pulsing, inhale, and exhale. Keep your arms active and strong. You should be feeling your triceps and the back of your deltoids by now. One more breath cycle. And lower yourself down a little break. We're gonna combine this with our legs. Take a nice big inhale. And on the exhale, lift up in the air. Legs are up just a few inches, just hovering above the floor. Your spine is lengthening. The crown of your head is reaching out. Still equal weight on both hip bones. Check that. Lower yourself down. Okay, now we're going to add the arm pumps. And inhale, lift. Good. And start doing your reverse hundred. One, two, three, four, five, and up. Two, three, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. So we're gonna do three more breath cycles like this. Let's add our legs. Start swimming. Two more breath cycles. One more. And lower yourself down. You can take the towel away if you have it with you. That goes down. Okay, let's reach our arms out. We'll be doing pulling straps, iteration of a classical reformer exercise. 
still keep that really thin piece of paper under your belly button. Gently lift your head and shoulders up. Float your arms up in the air. Imagine that you're holding straps with tension. On the inhale, go ahead and bring your arms back. And up. And again, inhale. Pull your straps back. Imagine the tension. And again, pull back. And release. Let's add lower lift. On the inhale, lift up, pull your straps back, reach as far back as possible, and release yourself down. And lift, and down. Don't go up too high to where you start feeling the smooth in your lower back. Do not lifting up very high, just a little bit. Focus on pulling those straps, imaginary straps back. Keep your neck long, in line with your spine. Good, stay here, reach your arms back for just a second. Good, and lower yourself down. Okay, preparation for a swan dive. Bring your hands almost under your shoulders. Your hips are still on the floor. On the inhale, lift up, head and shoulders up. Imagine you're like in a sphinx position. Elbows are slightly off the floor and I really need you to concentrate on this move. Ground, glue your hands into the floor. Now try to pull them back, reach through your elbows towards your heels without actually moving your hands. Shoulders are sliding away from your ears and your head is reaching in the opposite direction. You're trying to lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. And you should start feeling that really good muscle activation right around here between your shoulder blades. And lower yourself down. And inhale, lift. Reach those elbows back. Press your hands into the floor as much as you possibly can. And lower. Two more like this. Inhale, lift. Reach, 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 reach. Keep your core tight. Keep the piece of paper under your belly button. Down. One more time. And inhale, lift, reach your elbows back, keep your legs strong, keep reaching gently through your toes, and down. Okay, let's start our preparation for the push-ups, Pilates push-ups. Bring your hands more under your shoulders so your elbows are up in the air. Okay, we're going to do two variations. The first one, your feet will be down and your knees will be down. It's not a traditional push-up. Uh, take a nice big inhale and just watch me. You're gonna gently lift up, maybe an inch, maybe a quarter of an inch, doesn't matter. And lower yourself down. You're using your tricep to push yourself up. Let's try it again. And lift. Try to lift your tummy and your hips off the floor without letting your shoulders come up to your ears. Now let's try to do the same with your toes curled under. Get ready, take a nice big inhale. On the exhale, tighten your core and lift. All your muscles are working. Calm down. See which variation works best for you. Then do four more, either with your knees down or on your toes. Inhale, exhale up, hold, and down. Inhale, exhale up, down. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Up. Keep reaching through the crown of your head. Don't lose your neck. And down. One last time. Inhale. And up. And good. Okay, let's go ahead and go into a rest position for a second. Go back. Keep reaching your hands as far away as possible to get that nice stretch. Press your palms into the floor and get up on all fours. Knees about as wide as your hips. Hands are under your shoulders. Now this is where you might need your towels. You have wrist issues if it doesn't feel comfortable to be all the way up here. Roll those towels to tiny little balls like this. And then put those under your wrists so your angle, your wrist angle is not that sharp. See if it's gonna, if you need that. 
Curl your toes under. You are going into our knees off or knee stretches. Then the lift chin is up and hold it here for four, three, two, one. Come down. Good. On the next one, I want you to do the same thing, but focus. Make sure that your the inside of your elbows looking inside or back. You're not over rotating, over not over extending like this. You're not sagging in your shoulders or in your lower back. So none of these positions. Lift up. Think about pushing the floor away from you. Then push the floor away. Find that wide position between your shoulder blades and lift. Everything strong. Now walk one foot back, the other one. Come in and out. This is, these are your knee stretches. And in. Keep your core tight. Pull your legs in with your core, with your abs. Two more. Out. In. Last one. And in. Lower your knees down. Excellent. We're not taking a break. We're going straight into our plank. If you need to go down on your elbows to give your wrist a little break, go ahead and do that. Otherwise, we're going all the way up. Excellent. Find your position. Heels are together, toes slightly apart to give you better balance here. Hold it. Four, three, two, keep pushing the floor away. Now I want you to slide forward and back. You should really get your arms and shoulders burning. And forward. Keep reaching through the crown of your head. Your neck is long. One more time. Your core is tight. You're not sagging in your lower back. If you do, just go ahead and take a break. And lower yourself down. Rest. And we're changing our position. So go ahead and turn around. So we are sitting up now. Again, you might need this little towels under your wrists. It makes you more comfortable. Or you can always go down on your elbows. Two positions. We are doing our back support. Your fingertips are facing forward towards your heels. Your core is very tight. And I want you to lift up. Open up your chest. Don't sink, don't glory like this. Lift up. Imagine a string attached to your sternum and towards the ceiling, pulling you up. Your neck is long. Lift one leg up and down. Up and down. Your arms are working on keeping you up. You're, you're opening up your chest. Lift, down, let's do one more, and now we're taking a break. Okay, to give our triceps a little break here, let's get into our half roll down position. Bend your knees, feet are flat on the floor. Hands are under your thighs, under your knees. Sit up nice and tall, find that lift through your spine, all the way from your pelvis, through your lower back, and up, shooting out through the crown of your head. Now we'll be working our biceps, but in a slightly different way. Take a nice big inhale, and I want you to lean back. Right? Now imagine that you have no muscles whatsoever around here. Nothing's pulling you up. You're going to use your arms, your biceps, to pull yourself up. You're going to use the weight, the resistance of your torso to create that resistance to work your muscles. Pull yourself up. Down, release. Exhale, pull, 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 pull. Don't use your abs, don't use your hip flexors. Use your biceps. So really dig into your lats and pull, pull, pull. Try to create that opposition. Two more. One more time. And pull yourself up. And exhale. Good. That was kind of like a break for us. I want your feet to stay on the floor, palms are facing forward again. We're going into our tricep dips in preparation for our tendon stretch. Lift your legs up, your core is still working, you're still not sinking. Keep your chest nice and open. 
Get in a comfortable position. Lower yourself down. And lift. Lower. Lift. Make sure that your elbows are looking back. They're not going to the sides. Lower. Lift. Three. Two. One. Okay. Sit down. I want you to move back. So your hands will end up right near your hips. Stay here, we're going into our tendon stretch. We're gonna brace, scoot yourself forward, still slide, lift up, lift your hips up, and then you're going to slide your hips between your arms and bring them back forward. And slide them back. You're using your core to keep the hips up. To keep your pelvis up. If you relax your abs, then you'll end up on the floor. Keep your core tight, your tailbone gently tucked in, tucked under, and bring it back and forward. Let's try two more. And back, slide. Keep your heels glued into the floor. Don't let them go anywhere. Last time. And forward. Lower yourself down. Okay, we deserve a little rest. Lock your fingers, press them out. Reach, 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 reach. Keep your arms nice and open. Okay. Let's turn around. I'm going to turn around to face you. I'm going to do soft. Open up your legs a little bit wider than your hips. I want your the back of your legs flat on the floor. Arms open up to the sides. Okay. Now we're doing simple shoulder rotations. Your palms face up, you're rotating. Your palms, your shoulders rotate to the other direction. And open. And rotate. Think like you're wringing yourself out. Wring your shoulders out. Good. Two more. Get that movement. Keep your core tight, stay lifted, don't sink in your lower back. Excellent. Now let's do one arm one direction, the other uh, the opposite direction. So imagine your arms are like a big towel. You need to wring all the water out of the towel. So let's go. Start twisting as far as you possibly can. If you're doing it right, you should start feeling a little contraction right here in, uh, between your ribs. That's what we are going for. Good. Keep reaching through your fingertips into two opposite directions. The more you're trying to reach away, the more you're making your muscles work. You're creating those lean, long muscles, not bulky muscles, which you'd see to working at a gym or lifting weights. Good. Relax your shoulders. Rest your arms for a second, and we are going into the soft. I have enough room over here. So, first part, you're going to twist, keeping your hips where they are. We're not doing a traditional head, doing a modified saw. From here, you're going to reach up on a diagonal and come back. And twist and reach up on a diagonal, trying to reach to that spot where the wall and the ceiling meet together. And down. Uh, let's add that wringing out of the shoulders. Then a twist, the arm that's in the front goes up, and you reach, reach, you reach, look into the side, keeping your hips still, and release. And let's go to the other side. And reach, keep your feet flexed, the back of your legs is glued into, are glued into the floor, reach. Good, everything's working. Twist. And reach one last time each direction and reach lift, lift, lift and the other direction and reach and excellent okay we're doing one last one and then we'll be done for today go down on the side you're gonna bring your bottom arm right over here over your chest the top arm goes in front of you with the palm right in front of your sternum. We're doing side push-ups. From here, you're going to keep your core tight 
and lift up. Push up as high as you possibly can. Keep your legs down. And lower. Try not to go all the way down. Stay a little bit floating above the floor. And lift. And down. You'll feel your deltoids kicking in over here. Let's do four. Keep your torso long. Don't sink in your lower back, in your waist. Two. One more time. And good. Reach your arm out. Give it a little break. Good. Bend your knees. We're going for a little rest on this side. Open up with your teeth. Both shoulders are down. Good. And try to keep both knees down. <laughs> Let's go on the other side. I'm gonna rotate around. Go down, legs are long. Your bottom arm goes across your chest. The top arm goes right in front of you. Hand is supporting. Good, keep your core tight. It's really important. And lift, calm down. Lift. I'm down now. Start floating up in the air. Don't go all the way down. Lift. Good. Keep reaching out through your legs. Core is tight. Reaching through the crown of your head like somebody's pulling your head away from you. Three more. Good. Don't go all the way down. Keep it there. Two. One more. And good. Bend your knees. Reach your arm. And go for your. T stretch. Good. Arms are open. Chest is open. Relax here. Okay. And we're done for today. Thank you for working out with me. And I'll see you next time on the Bikini Body Rescue.